Oh, that's right. Welcome to another Ailes Entertainment Podcast. We got a new intro song. Shout out to my boy, TT Dub. Like, share, follow, subscribe. We're available on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, all the above, all the podcast platforms. Guys, we have an exciting show. So pumped up. Shout out to my boy, Landon, who is here. We about to get it on right now. Woo! What's up, everybody? What's up, best friends? What's up, Colorado Avalanche fans? What's up, my hockey fans? Where are you guys at? at what's up what's up what's up we are live for another aerial entertainment podcast we are going hard in the paint actually we're gonna go hard on the ice today baby we got the abs here in the house we got my boy landon guys let's give my boy landon a shout out where you at bro yeah. <laughs> mm. that's what i'm talking about I'm all about that action i'm all about <laughs> hockey baby guys before we get into my boy Landon and what he does and what team he plays for, you know what we got to do. Let's go over the business that pays the bills. Straight up, shout out. I ain't mad at you. I got nothing but love for you. I keep doing your thing, boy. Da, 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 da. Make sure you go to Ariel, E-N-T dot com. Yeah, guys, Ariel, E-N-T dot com is sponsored by Ariel. If you guys just go here, Ariel, E-N-T dot com. We got t-shirts, stickers, and pens. I repeat, stickers, pens, and shirts, guys. These are going to go quick. Once they go quick, they're not going to be no more, guys. Check them out. $3, $3 each. T-shirts, $8. I still got to raise those up to $20. ArielENT.com is an amazing way to support me. Let's talk about supporting. Another way to support me is by going to um, like, share, following, and subscribing, guys. So uh, thank you so much. ArielENT.com. Check out my merch. And while you're there, you can check out my, uh, you can book me online, my photography, in my shop and my podcast guys and i do music if you go home check it out hit the home button check it out we do it live there i am check him out yeah you guys can listen to my music yeah, that's, my boy. You know that's what right saying? that's right right sure. guys show some support there got my music landon already knows um got my music there and uh my bio and everything guys so check it out ariel ent.com yeah Coming from the underground to national to local to international, worldwide, believe it, it's true. I'm not just saying that, just to say that. Guys, another way to support me is my Instagram, Ariel, E-N-T-P-O-D, Ariel, A-R-I-E-L, E-N-T-P-O-D. That's my Instagram. Make sure you hit the follow button and share, like, subscribe, guys. Thank you so much. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I got the Venmo and the PayPal and um, the Apple link or cash app i think i don't know what it's called guys uh you can support me that way too the donations guys thank you so much um i invested in something guys i invested in something and i probably say in a month or so we will probably got we got some good stuff coming we got some good stuff coming guys so stay tuned for that i'm really stoked about that um let's see what else music i got no music concerts coming up but you can listen to my music on spotify apple all the above guys i'm all podcast platforms music platforms and today is march 24th live here in denver colorado guys let's do a quick prayer and then we get to my boy landon who is on the other line who came to kill it like he does on the ice all right guys angel of god our guardian dear to whom's god love commits us here ever this day and night be at our side to light and guard to ruin guide like i said thank you god for answering our prayers our dreams and listening to us and um thanks for our thank you for our family our perfect health the money we have to get the things we need um just taking care of us watching over us god thank you so much amen oh yeah p.s god thank you so much for landing coming onto the show and uh having a good time with us. Thank you. Thank you, God, for watching over him and his family. Amen. That's what's up, guys. That's how we do it. We got to get everybody included. We're all on the same frequency right now. That's what we do. Landon, tell us who you are, bro, and tell us where we can find you, my man. Yeah, for sure. What up, guys? Just want to say a big thank you to Ariel for having me on this podcast. Uh, so you can follow me on Instagram. So I have two. The first one is not like Good, good. The second one is Scrib, which is lowercase s underscore Landon. Uh, the one that Ariel have up on the screen right now is our team Instagram page. 
So go ahead and check it out. Give it a like, a follow, support our program. That's where we post a lot of cool pictures. Uh, if you want to learn more about Fred Hockey, uh, that page will stay up to date about like, if you want to try Fred Hockey, you can contact them or go to our website, figure out more. Uh, we do fundraiser. Uh, most of the money that we raise will help us get new equipment for like the kids. So we have like a kids team, and then we have like the adult team. We used to have an A team, and then it went out of our league or something like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we just have two teams right now: the kids and then the uh, adult team. Pretty in- interesting. Pretty cool to watch. If you already watch hockey, it's like a new experience. A lot of people that I talk to that know hockey, bro, like they said it's fun watching this type of fun hockey because it's like, if you think about it, it's like many car crashes hitting each other and we don't care. We like light people up. It's crazy, you know. Just like the first time I had my family come and watch, they were like impressed. They're like, man, I have respect for you guys. It's like, it's all upper body strength, you know? And uh, when they try to get on, they're like, dead tired, bro. It's like, oh my gosh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it's man. Pretty cool, though. For sure. <laughs> and that's, um, this, guys, let's make sure you guys follow, support my boy Landon here, Landon on the Instagram. I think that's squibs underscore Landon. Yep. Follow that, a case too, Joe. Yep. Uh, it's S K U I B B S underscore L A N D O N. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Make sure you follow his Instagram and then support his um his team channel right now as well, which is C O underscore A V A L A N C H E underscore B underscore S L E D. That's Colorado Avalanche B Sled. So make sure you guys check him out. Um, huge fan of Landon. Um, a huge fan of hockey. I'm a huge fan of the Colorado Avalanche. Um, yeah. Dude, so dude, this is where it's at. I'm about hockey. What made you get into hockey, bro? Uh, so I started playing sled hockey when I was like nine years old. So pretty much around that time, I'm like, in this world, it's hard to fit in. But, like, when I found sled hockey, it's, like, I fit in with these type of people. I just feel free. Like, yes, I play sports at high school, but it's, like, it's not the same. And when you get on the ice, meeting new people that have the same compassion and passion for the sport that they love to do, you know, it's it's like an eye-opener. It's, like, you don't see stuff the way you normally see it. And when you get on the ice, meeting new people, learning their stories. Like, I met Nico that's on the USA flat hockey team, learn about his story of how he lost his leg. And then he meets some, like, military vet that's, like, in our league, that how they went to war and they lost a leg. And then when they found flat hockey, it's, like, their happy place. And flat hockey for me is my happy place. So um, I'm happy that I found it and it's what I'm good at, you know? That's awesome, bro. I got to come and check you out live again, bro. The co- yeah. You play for the Colorado Avalanche B Sled Hockey Team, Pacific Sled Hockey League. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, for the Pacific Sled Hockey League. So in our division, we will have San Diego Duck Sled Hockey. We, we have the Coyote Sled Hockey. We also have the LA King Sled Hockey. What, dude? That's sweet. <laughs> and then we have the newest team that joined us, I think, a couple of years ago. It's the Las Vegas, bro. Las Vegas Sled what? Hockey. What? Yeah. Dude, uh, it's like, growing it's quick. Bigger. It is. It's going quick. It's like, it's amazing to see how across the world in different states they have like Sled Hockey team. It's growing. And that's what I like about it. Even like hockey, like the Avalanche, they did a lot for it. They have us um, come to the stadium series when we played against Detroit in Coast Field. Gave us brand new jersey. We got to play on the ice. 
in front of Coors Field, which is nice. So they've done a lot. So um, I'm happy. It's like it's getting bigger since people taking notice of it. And it wouldn't happen if we didn't have a para ice hockey team, bad hockey team, I mean. Like, they're out there now, like, Nico, Rico, Paul, uh, some other players, uh, Kevin McKee. I I used to play with them in a when we used to have an A team. So if you think about it, the A team is like, I put it in this hockey perspective. Because you know how you have the Avalanche team, right? Yeah. So the Avalanche team is like the USA slot hockey team, like pros. And then underneath that would be like our division with the A team that's like you're playing against different teams that have different USA players on it. Wow. So that's pros and stuff like that. So yeah, it's fast paced. And I learned a lot when I was like, as a sub. I played forward up there. I learned the game. It taught me great to be help. It helped me become a great sled hockey player as I am today. Because since we didn't have an A team no more, since we're like at the B team, it's like a step below it. So it's like the minor league. You know? uh, and then that's when I played defense and being up there with the high skill player like Nico and Tyler, uh, Tanner. Uh, Pierce also been up there with me too. And um, just watching the game, learning how it's played, and then bring it down to where we are at now so I can deliver that information to younger flat hockey players and help them grow. And taking on that role model that Nico could to help me understand the game. So I'm grateful for that stuff like that and it's fun it's like I'm the type of hockey player that like I'll play the game but I love to hit people <laughs> I love being physical like physical part of the game is like hitting people uh, I play defense so my job is like protecting the goalie forcing people to the board so they don't have a shot hitting people off the puck Stuff like that. Like, I'm more of a uh, enforcer type of person. Like, if somebody hit my teammate, if I don't like it, bro, I'll be in a phase. I'm like, you want to drop them? You want to go? You can't do that. That's not right. And I'm the type of player that, like, yes, I trash talk. <laughs> I wish we could fight. Like, so we can fight, but like, not like real hockey, how you can just drop your glove and just start throwing punches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a full cage. Um, but we like hit each other with the with our glove, like, oh, like, I don't care if you have a face, man, I'm gonna punch the shit out of you. I'm like, sure. right. And it's fun to watch, you know. And, um yeah, I'm that type of player that protects my teammates, stuff like that. So it's fun to watch. You have to come in I'll just play when COVID is done, you know? <laughs> Dude, that'd be super sweet. When is your next games or what's your schedule? You have some here in the following months or two? Uh, we have like another tournament in June, I okay. guess. Uh, not sure how it goes because of COVID, you know? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. We just got done with our last tournament last week in uh, Big Bear Ice Arena. Mm-hmm. Maui, uh, that was hosted with the Warriors and Warriors Avalanche. They have a team down Colorado Springs. Uh-huh. So pretty much that team is for military vets that serve and fought for our country. Wow. So yeah, so people get confused. It's like, why do you guys have two Avalanche in your division? It's like, well, one is the Warriors because our military people that's fought in a war and found flat hockey and then there's us that's just regular people that have disability that want to compete so I have to explain that to most of the people and they're like oh that's pretty cool you know so yeah it's like it's fun to watch so dude that's yeah. super dope bro um i forgot to get ask you i forgot to tell you i forgot to let the i forgot to let the listeners know how we met guys how i met landon I have to let you guys know how I met Landon. My boy Landon, I met him because I worked at a specific bank. 
And in this bank, there was a Starbucks, probably I'd say 20 feet away. And I would never drink coffee. And um, that place got me hooked on coffee. And uh, that's where I met my boy Landon here because um, shout out to my boy Landon. He already always hooked it up. He, uh, he would, uh, I would come early in the morning or whenever. And he'd be like, yo, here's your coffee, dude. Come through. What's up? What's going on? And we would chat it up and, uh, and he would tell me about his games. And I would always like to see Landon and his family as well. His mom would stop by all the time. And uh, was that your, your niece? Yeah, uh, my little cousin, Ella. Yeah. Yeah, she, <laughs> she called you Peter Pan. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I forgot. Oh, yeah, your mom would, yeah, because I would have pointy-ass shoes. <laughs> yeah, be like, there's Peter Pan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I love that. I loved it when your mom came in. She would come in and... Oh man, it, it was so awesome. Does she, dude? Does she still go there? Uh, once in a while to get her medicine or stuff for dinner, but she stay home most of the time because of COVID, you know. Oh, so. for sure, for sure, bro. I haven't been there since I left there. I did. It got worse. It got bad. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Dude, so yeah, re- some good times. Dude, I had amazing times there, bro. The reason I left, the re- reason I left there is because they would be doing, you know how they have audits? Yeah. Oh man, that shit, that shit, I didn't like that shit. And so I was like, I gotta do it. I couldn't do it anymore. No, please, bye. <laughs> yeah, I do. That shit was way too intense. So I was like, I gotta dip out. Shout out to everybody, though, that I worked with. You guys were all amazing and nice to me. Thank you guys so much. But that's where I met my boy Landon. It was uh, from Starbucks. My boy was cooking it up at Starbucks and uh, just killing it. And I would see my boy Landon probably three or four times a day. And uh, <laughs> I know, three or four times a day, bro. I'd see you every day. It was awesome. I tried to see you. I always know at the bank that we're closing. Because it's boring. Boring, like we don't get no customers, so I just hang out at the bank teller. Yeah, you and talking to other people. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, dude, no, you, you'd make samples and then you'd bring all the samples over to us. <laughs> yeah, like, or if there's any food that's going out, I give it to you guys. Bro. <laughs> that was funny, dude. Those, yeah, exactly. So, uh, so that's how I met Landon. Landon, um, what is it that you like about sled hockey? I know you like the physical part. I know you like to be an enforcer. Uh, is it scoring the goals? Is it um, just the, the, is it your, what, what is it about hockey, your passion about it? The thing I'm passionate about it just, like, you know how people have different way to direct their emotion, like, if you're like mad, you have all this anger, all this stuff that's like building up. And most people, they just go for like a drive or they blast music or they like go for a walk or go work out and lift to get that energy out. For me, that's flat hockey, bro. Like we practice every Saturday in the morning. It doesn't matter if it's practice or the game, or be on the ice with my teammates. When I'm out there, bro, I feel free. Like, like I'm flying out there. Like, everything that happened around, like, in real life, like, let's say clouds, like, dark clouds, raining, thunderstorm over my head. And then when I get that helmet, the gear on, get on the ice. It's yeah. Like, Oof, it's gone. That, that's what I like, and then... I'm always happy on the ice. It's like, it's like I'm good at it. I know I'm good. It just relieves me, I guess. It's like self-care for me, to be honest, you know? So, like, yeah. like how you have your music and you express your feeling or you just play music just for fun, it, it makes you happy. That's what flat hockey is. It just makes me happy. Just being around the, my teammates, the cool thing about it with my teammates, yeah, we all started young. We all played together young, and we grew up all together. So we had that chemistry. Uh, we had that chemistry on like 
if we're traveling, we have that team bonding. We have we mess around with each other. We joke around. We it's like a second family for me. Like you have your second brother, sister out there, you know. And it's fun to see them like on the ice doing what you love and having a great time. So straight up, bro, dude, <laughs> are you are you able to um, watch Avalanche games at your crib? I'm not able. I'm not able to. They blocked. They blocked. Oh, no, no. It's messed up because, um, cause I have this, and I, normally they're on like altitude. You know, like now it's in altitude. It's worrying about the contract or the money. They're I know. Like, oh, we're not gonna. Block. I'm like, bro. Like, think about how much money you'd be making during COVID. You know, a lot of people would be at home watching the half game. I know. I know. Like I know. It's a, it I'm take a lot of money already. I'm like, why, bro? Like, oh, I'm just streaming it on my computer. You know. Did you figure it? How did you you figured it out? How to stream it from your computer? Yeah. So it, it's free. Uh, my teammate Pierce, uh, he told me about it. So you just go to nhl 66ir and that's where you can stream like all the hockey game. Uh, it, it might be a little bit delayed because, like, then regular TV, if you watch it, if you're streaming it, it'd be, like, a little bit behind, though. But, hey, at least I get to watch some hockey. You know? Woo! Dude, what was the <laughs> web- website? NHL 66? IR. That, oh, man, you saved my life. Dude. <laughs> My girl and I, we went, we, we got the app for NBC so we can get the, so we got the app for NBC and it says, um, watch your local hockey game. So we're like, oh, cool. We're going to be able to watch the hockey games. Woo. Dude, no, they block, they block it on NBC app. Right. We're like, yeah. fuck, dude, like a month, like a month later, a month later, we see another, like two weeks ago, we see it, the same thing. Avalanche versus the, uh, the mighty ducks on, um, it was on um, ESPN. It, it was on ESPN. And um, so we're like, oh, let's watch it. And dude, they're like, you can't watch it unless you buy uh, a subscription to it, $5, $6 a month. And I'm like, dude, that's worth it. I'm like, let's wor- that's worth it. Let's do it. So I do it. Dude, I wasted $6 because they ended up blocking, they blocked the channel. Oh, bro. Oh, that sucks. So I canceled my, I called ESPN, canceled my subscription, and they're like, we'll give it, we'll give you the month for free. We're sorry. And um, you go, you get your money back, but you can have the month for free. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But, bro, Avalanche, their altitude need to get their shit together, bro. Oh, bro. Like, it, like even like on my TV, like, I don't know, my mom is like, hey, are you going to watch it on TV? No, I'm just going to get my computer set up just in case, you know? But, yeah, yeah I just been watching it on my computer. Dude, I appreciate you letting me know because the only games we're, we can watch games in, like, in, uh, Toronto, Tampa Bay, uh, um, so many, uh, Chicago, uh, the Blues. Uh-huh. There's so many games that we can watch, and but we can't watch our local team. It's messed up. I know. It's Bro. It's Yo, so what are uh, some of your passions or some things you like to do outside uh, sled hockey? So, first of all, I work at Starbucks. I'm a barista. Woo! And the I'm working at is an actor Starbucks store, which I like it because I'm not, like, by myself at Safeway doing everything. I have, like, other partners, other people, coworkers that I can hang out with, talk to, have a great time. Like, I love making coffee. The best part of my job is seeing the regular customer when I come through the, start, the store, you know? Yeah. They come in, they say hi, or you have a conversation with them. Uh, one of my regular customers, uh, John, guess what? He's a Penguin fan, so he came in today. He's like, hey, did you watch the Av game last night? Like, yeah, I watched it. Don't give me shit about it because I know we lost in a shootout, but it was a good game. Oh. stuff like that, that you know and it's nice uh the other thing i do outside of flat hockey is so i'm taking a deal off from school because of covid you know 
Uh, okay. Pretty much, I just hang out with my mom. Sweet. Uh, Ella, help her with stuff. Um, been doing some yard work around the house. Cool. Uh, yeah, like we made like flower beds. We do like Halloween decoration for the kids in our neighborhood. Yeah. No. Uh, stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah. Like I was thinking, like at first, I wanted to be a firefighter. But, like, I've been thinking, like, since I took a year off and I've been thinking about it, like, I might go back to school, get my AA degree, and then, like, maybe get, like, a business-type degree because I want to own my own coffee shop, you yeah. know? Yeah, dude. And you would kill it. It's gonna be cool. I fucking love coffee. Not, like, the F word, but, like, the hockey puck. Like, pucking love coffee, you know? And then when they come in, they get their coffee. I'll have like TVs in there that I'll make sure they show the Avalanche game, like the Avalanche highlight. Uh, my coworker would be wearing like the jersey, hockey jersey, or football jersey. What kind of jersey they have, they can wear it like a sport coffee bar kind of, you know. So oh, yeah. I'm thinking about going to school and hopefully it comes true, you know. And when they do, I'm gonna hit you. I'm like, hey. Come, come through. I got you. Got yeah, you dude. and your girl. You know. <laughs> I appreciate that, Landon. And I know you can do it. Just write it. Just write it down, man. Sure. I know you mm-hmm. write it down. Maybe, uh, like, if I was gonna start a business, like a coffee shop, I know I would write it down. Uh, cut out some pictures. Uh, right. just dream about it, and then um, I would definitely save money. And then the and then after that, I would just uh go talk to go see like a small dude. There's so many. Okay, I'm so glad you talk about coffee. Uh, my girl and I we love we love coffee. So we we like we like local coffee. We love Starbucks. Nothing gets Starbucks. We love co- we love Starbucks. But uh, we like local. So like we go to other towns or other cities. We like to hit up local, um, coffee shops because it just feels nicer. It feels nice. And um. Uh, dude, I've seen so many different types of coffee shops. I've seen really like small sheds coffee shops, just like in a parking lot. Ready? <laughs> Have you, like it's weird. There's just like there's a parking lot and there's coffee shops, and then um like a little small coffee shop. Do then then there's like really cool ones downtown, or there's cool ones you know on main streets, or there's so many different types of coffee shops, man. And so if I was going to buy a coffee shop, I think like from, like, I would think like what I would, I was thinking about that too, but I don't know how to make coffee. I don't know any of that stuff. So I was thinking about that one time too. And uh, I was like, man, I think I'll probably get like a small shed and uh, invest in somebody that knows everything about coffee and have them t- run it. And, um, and then who knows, you know, and then split it 50, 50 or whatever. And then, um, and then just go that's what i would do and then just go from there because it would be like the per- it, i would just put all my trust in that person be like yo dude this is your place it's your coffee you do what you gotta do let's get this running you tell me what you need you tell me what you need and we'll get it going and uh, that's how i would start it um just save money and then go buy like a small little place or some shit i think you i could see you doing that man for sure i could see you having your coffee shop, man, that'd be so cool. And then I'm going to have you and your girl come in. You guys make your coffee. You like it how it is. You tell me what it is or how to make it. And we like name it after you or you have like any cool name. Or just uh, put it like Ariel, Peter Pan, <laughs> or something. Since you made it and since you like it, I'm going to have it on my menu. Right? People are like, Dude. oh, what's that? My boy Ariel, you know, check his podcast. I uh, picture up there of you and other stuff like that, you know. <laughs> bro, 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 we're gonna look back on this. We're gonna look back on this, dude, and uh, we're gonna be like, dude, look what you, you, you visual every, everything you said in visualize came to reality, bro. That's so cool. Yeah, and then like with the tips or donation, I'm gonna have like a thing out there, like any donation that will help. Colorado flat hockey or like place to get yeah. new equipment, new yeah. gear, or even help us fundraise for like to go on tournaments and stuff like that. And then I was thinking 
if the Amish win, you get a drink and a pastry, or maybe two pastry and a drink, and then two pastry would be for free or something. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the Avalanche win, day. yeah. Dude, yeah. like, you're going to have the whole com- or something like that. You're going to have the whole <laughs> community behind your back, and then you're going to be advertised yeah. at Avalanche Games. They're going to be like, for your local coffee, make sure you stop at Landon's Coffee. At your local Landon's Coffee, make, if Avalanche win, you get a free coffee and a pastry. Make sure you stop at Landon's Coffee tonight after the game. Yep, yes, sir. Dude, <laughs> make sure you write it down so you don't forget, bro. That's my promise to you. Write it down. <laughs> Yo, tell me any advice for upcoming uh, sled hockey players? One of the advice I want to give to the upcoming sled hockey players. Yeah, um, they want to come join. They're hearing this. They're like, hey, I want to be part of this. How can I donate? How can I support it? How can I even join to be part of it? What's up? Let me know. Yeah, so um, if you just go to our team Instagram page. Yeah. Uh, it have our website. Right, so you yeah, click on I'm going there right now. I'm going there right now. We do it live. Right there, guys. Yeah, so Colorado Sled Hockey dot org. Boom. Click on it. All the information you should know. Uh, if you want to start hockey or you just want to try to find a day where we do like come skate with our players, you can do that. You can donate. Have everything that you need to know on there. And at the same time. Our team is still looking for some players, you know. Don't be afraid to go and try flat hockey. Don't be that type of people like, oh, yeah, I, I want to try flat hockey, but I'm afraid that I'm not good enough or I'm not able to do it since I'd be beyond the ice with me or some other skilled player. Don't be afraid. We're there to help you. We're there to make sure you have a good time, you know. Uh, the other advice for the upcoming uh, sled hockey players, um, we all started somewhere, you know? Yeah. Like for me, I started when I was like nine years old. Yeah, at that time, I wasn't good enough, but I kept going. I kept getting better. I kept yeah. asking other players, like, hey, like, how can I do to make myself better? Or how yeah. do I do this and that? We all started somewhere, so don't be afraid to get out there and try it. Like with me, like I'm open to trying new things. Like life is short, you know, you got to go beyond your limit and try something new. Uh, other than that, like as long as you put your mind to it, you are unstoppable. Don't let anybody come in and take control of you. Like just think of it. Let's say you have a car, right? Like, you know how you put the key in the ignition, you start it, you drive it, you're in control of your car, right? So all you have to do is take that key, put it in your heart, start that motor, you're in control of your own destiny. Do not let anybody that come in break into your car and control it or come into your life and start controlling you, you know? That's, That's what I think about it. You know, it's like you're in control of your life, your decision, or how you want to live. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't or cannot do. That's not right. You know, we all have opinion, and I respect that. I respect everybody. And we're all human beings, so we all have feelings. And yeah, that's my advice for people out there that want to try something new or want to reach for the dream. Don't stop. Keep going. The sky is the limit, you know? Just take off. Just, it'll take a while, though. Just don't give up. Just keep to your heart, to your mind. In the future, you'll get there, you know? You know what yep. I mean? Dude, that is so amazing. Like you said, just keep yeah. going. Don't stop. Yeah. I wrote it right here. Um, don't let anyone break into your car. Like you said, pretend your like whole body is a vehicle, uh, like amazing, right. most dopest vehicle you can think of. That's you. That's your body right now. And every time you wake up in the morning or whatever you you wake up in the morning, you got that heart of yours. Make sure you ignite it with some 
uh, for me, it would be, uh, there'll be morning tea that pumps me up. So I just get boiled water, some lemon tea and the pink, some pink salt, some, uh, and then I'm all pumped up and then I have my mortars ready to go. And then let's just do it, you know? And like you said, don't let anybody break down your spirits. Don't let anybody break down your goals. Just stay focused, keep that car locked. Like you would do your favorite car. You know what I mean? And so uh, I think that's a great example right there, Landon. And just, uh, um, put your mind to it. Um, Life is short, so just keep going, man. Just keep going, going, going. Um, let's see here. Yeah, man, I, I think that was amazing stuff right there. And then you said that um, with the sled hockey team, you can just go to the website, and right there you can, uh, if you guys want to try it out, you can shoot them a message there at their website. And as well, if you want to donate as well to the Colorado sled hockey team, go to their main website, which is on their Instagram, coloradosledhockey.org. Go check them out at the website, guys. Shout out to everybody listening on the hockey team. Thank you guys for everything, telling your friends and family, uh, sharing this, uh, following, liking, and subscribing. So thank you so much. Landon is a really great friend of mine. I'm so um, honored that I've met him and his family. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys play here soon in the future. Um, I think that'd be super dope. So there you go, guys, coloradosledhockey.org. Go check them out. Go check out their website. Donate. Sign up for email alerts. And then hit them up as well if you want to be part of the team. Because like Landon said, um, they're looking for players. So go hit up uh, the Colorado Sled Hockey team. Um, I think I got one more question here, Landon. But other than that, I want to say thank you so much for coming on to the show. Giving a huge shout out to your team. Um, I want to, um, bring up the team Instagram one more time here, guys. So you guys can follow and support that's co that's C O underscore avalanche underscore B underscore sled. That's their Instagram and my boy Landon, you guys can follow his Instagram, which is, um, squibs underscore Landon. That's S Q U I E B S underscore Landon. He's very passionate about life. He's very passionate about the community. He's passionate about hockey. He's passionate about Colorado Avalanche, guys. Um, he's a passion about winning, just like us listening here. We're winning the day. So just remember that, guys. We're all in this together. We're all in this, uh, just like the same frequency, the same goals. We're all, you know, striving to be better, striving to progress. And uh, Landon, thank you so much. Arielent.com, uh, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I'm available on YouTube, all podcast platforms, Spotify, Apple, all the above. Same as my music, guys. Arielent.com is my website. Thank you, thank you. Donations, PayPal, Venmo. Uh, the links are right here. I got to give huge shout outs to my boy, Tom. Thank you, Tom. My boy, Brian Lloyd. Shout out to my boy, Branson Brophy. Shout out to my boy, Jeremy Fix. Shout out to my boy, Nick Williams, guys. Shout out to um, Twisted Grape Radio, uh, Nick Fiore, and then as well, uh, D Money. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you for all your support, the donations, and showing love. Everybody's comments and feedback, it, 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 it um, truly means the world to me. Dude, it's crazy, the comments and feedback I get. So, guys, thank you so much. And, um, one last question, Landon. Um, oh, let's see here. Where do you see the Colorado Avalanche this year going? I got to say, since we have a healthy group hour in that, we have a solid young defenseman. We have a killer forward line, you know. I got to say we're going to make it to the Stanley Cup playoff. Bounce Ooh, back. Yes. All yes. The way. All the way, baby. I agree, bro. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have to – 100%. Bro, I'm going to have to uh, link you up with some friends of mine. Um, they actually do a hockey podcast, and I've had them on my show. Um, it's like, bench, I'll just have to, I'll shoot you to your Instagram. But they're legit. I'll introduce you guys, and uh, you guys can talk. Um, I'm sure he'll be legit. He's all about hockey. He's had hockey players on his podcast, dude. So uh, I'm, I'll have to hook you up with him, man. Yeah, sure. Nice, guys. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Landon came and killed it, guys. Make sure you go follow, subscribe. Yeah.
Colorado Avalanche all the way, all my hockey players, all my hockey fans, all my best friends. Thank you guys so much for listening, sharing, subscribing, and liking, and following. Truly means the world to me, guys. Thank you so much. And then um, I was going to say, love each other, love the animals. Self-love is the best love. Remember that. I ain't mad yet. DJ, drop the track. Let's go, baby. Woo! <laughs> my boy landon in the house ariel's entertainment podcast we are live worldwide guys so make sure you like share follow subscribe take the links take it take the link and go to your phone and go to all your contacts and send that link to everybody guys like share follow subscribe tell your friends and family ariel's entertainment podcast we are live we out